Now this is the third video in a row about the same book and we're still with the topic the Ten Mabadi. If we look at page 12 of this book, it's the introduction, and um, there we see again the Ten Mabadi are mentioned but uh, versified by an earlier scholar called um, Imam uh, Ibn Zikri at Tilmisani in one of his Aqidah texts, it's actually a poem, Muhassil uh, al-Maqasid, and he mentions uh, like one, two, three, four, five verses in which um, uh, the Ten Mabadi can be read. So this is another version, it's an earlier version actually of someone who compiled the Ten Mabadi together in one poem, in one short poem. This is very interesting and much more will be said uh, in another book I'm working on specifically on the poetry about the Ten Mabadi. So there are several ulama, several scholars who composed some poetry uh, regarding these Ten Mabadi and uh, that will, uh, will uh, be written down by me, researched and published inshallah after the first book I'm going to publish this year, inshallah. So, benefit from these, Ten Mabadi. What's also interesting, if we further um, read in this book, uh, which is a book uh, on Mantiq, um, we can see that also Imam al-Mallawi, who wrote a sharh of this text, uh, this short poem by Imam al-Akhdari, uh, called Sharh uh, al-Kabir, on the Sulam al munawraq or the Sulam al murawnaq he also mentions the Tan Mabadi and refers to um, Imam al maqari actually. I think if I'm correct, or is it also Imam uh, Ibn Zikri? I'm not sure really, but um, anyways, Imam al Malawi, the Egyptian scholar who wrote a commentary on this poem, uh, the Sulam al munawraq also mentioned the Tan Mabadi, but then he did not versify these ten mabadi, but just mentioned and discussed them with regards to the science of mantiq. So I'll leave it here and uh, I hope you benefit, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.